is hi i'm jen and i'm sarah and we're the broadway broads if you're new here welcome to the broadway broad squad we are still here in new york city and we have our friend Alan of magic yay <laughs> ali yay this review is for funny girl playing at the august wilson theater yay so this is not a, a new um actually sorry this, this is, is. This is a new one for Quest for 41, and we saw this on a Saturday night, 8 p.m. We had orchestra seats. Um, they were orchestra left, seats 9, 11, and 13, and Allie was the one that got these tickets yes, for yes, us. Yes, all the tickets were like over $200, and I managed to just find some like off to the side Yep, for like whatever we paid. What, like $125 yeah. or something. They were the and they were, ones. So the, they were great view for the show but they yes. were a little snug. they were very yeah. snug yeah yes. yeah um yes. so real quick uh, a quick synopsis for the squad on on the show um the semi-biographical plot is based on the life and career of broadway star film actress and comedian fanny bryce featuring her stormy relationship with entrepreneur and gambler nick arnstein so getting into the august wilson theater they did not do vaccination checks However, masks are completely required for the entire duration of the show. Mm -hmm. And then we had to merch. Yes, of Yay, course. Yay, we got merch. <laughs> um, so, Allie? I got a magnet because I get a magnet at every show. Yes. And I got my lapel pin. There it is. And I even got a cute little, it'll look cuter when it's got stuff in it, but a cute <laughs> little bag that says, hello, gorgeous. And then I got and this Allie bag. Got it's a funny girl. And then... I'm the greatest star. And I love how... I thought it was a zipper, one, but it's a button closure. But, but then this even opens up wide. It does. Yeah. And that's then nice. There's a zipper pocket inside, too, so... Yeah, that's a good bag. Thick. Yeah, good bag. Mm. Yay. And then the there were bars, so you could yes. get a beverage if you wanted. And there were funny girl cups. Yes. There were funny girl cups. Oh, but, yeah, I good to know that. Oh, the yeah. people in front of us. Oh. Yeah, they had them. Oh, I, I missed miss that. that. Oh, no. I did miss that. <laughs> I did. Um, and the bathrooms. It was a lot of stairs. Yeah, it was like weird. Oh. talk about the theater. No. So the theater, yeah. Yeah. And Enter, stairs. you go downstairs. Then you go to the bar, you go down more stairs. You go to the... The, the, the merch had its own space, which was nice, mm -hmm. you know, but it was very much... Then when you done with all the bathroom and everything, then you go up a bunch of stairs to get into the theater. Mm -hmm. When I saw Mean Girls, I literally do not... I think I was just excited because that was my first Broadway show, but I don't remember all those stairs. And even when you're on the orchestra, it's like stairs, 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 then down. Down, and like, yeah. It's, it was like a maze. Yeah. And then the inside of the theater, it, to me, it very much felt like if you've been to Epcot Center, like the, the lay of the lands, like I felt like I was either in Morocco it looked like or Vegas, I was in Vegas, like at Vegas. Caesars or yeah, it even yeah. had like a fake balcony up at the top. It was just I don't know. I just it, it, it's like decoupage type wallpaper. It like was fake, just like not fake mine. Italy, like trying yes. to I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it was either Morocco, Italy, Mexico, one whatever. Weird. I just didn't. I wasn't wasn't feeling the vibe. Not our favorite theater. No, <laughs> no. the forty one. No, I like the logo, like the marquee yeah, of the too. August Wilson. So yeah, yes. yes. but then so once I, you go inside, you're like, oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah, and just stairs. It is like the theater of stairs. Yeah. That's, it. That's what I had theater to say. Theater of that. stairs. Yeah. I love that. Um, so then we headed to our seats, which again were snug. We were, uh, we and, were and not just that yeah. way, but also the knee situation. Yes. Oh I could gosh. not move, and I'm a tall bra. Yeah, I, could not I mean, move at oh, all. yeah, I can't even imagine for you guys. Yeah. I'm short. And then I felt bad because I felt like I was like, because I'm tall, I was the tallest person. And I felt like I had to like sit down into my seat to in order to like yeah. let the person behind me. This like, for sure was the theater with the like least, least amount of like room yeah. so yeah. far. Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. Um, okay, so let's dive into the show. So when when we walk into the theater, um, there's a scrim that has a traditional red <laughs> curtain like imposed on it, right? Or painted imposed on it. Imposed on it, yes. Um, and so Jen. Speak I didn't, on that. You have I didn't, like, I didn't have a problem. I wanted to see a beautiful red curtain, thick red and curtain. And no, we talked about that it yeah. is a scrim and it's functional within the play, right? And so I get that, but, but that could have been behind yeah. the beautiful curtain. Why that, not both? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're taking us to a revival of a huge Broadway show that has, hasn't been on Broadway in something, however many years. Yeah, yeah. It hasn't been redone. I wanted the big red, yeah. The lights, though, you did mention you really enjoyed I did. the lighting they around, around it. Yes. yes, and they popped during parts, and I did. But it, like, synced with the sound. The sound, so, yes. So, like, great job on the sound. Yeah. Loved it. Um, okay, so let's talk a little bit about the set. So, 
Um, well, we have different opinions on this, which is great. We did get a turntable, so your girls were happy with the turntable. <laughs> Always love a good turntable. <laughs> yes. However, I personally was underwhelmed by the set. I wanted, I, we, we saw Music Man recently, another revival, and the set was spectacular. This, to me, was not. I Go liked ahead. it. <laughs> I always love when a set is something and then you turn it and it's something else. Mm -hmm. They did that for like the Phantom Tour. Mm -hmm. Like it was like something and then when you turn, it was almost the same thing. Like, and then when it turns around, it's like something else. Yeah. I don't know, I thought it was cool. It's a very, that's a very traditional like vaudevillian thing where it's mm -hmm. like, we're gonna cover it up and sing a song in front of that while we change mm -hmm. the set. And then we're gonna open it up and reveal this beautiful thing. And, yeah. and, and for the show, like, I, that's a beautiful concept for it. But I, I kind of agree with Jen on the certain things under were underwhelming. I think they could have, you know. Yeah. I, we did like the Henry Street yes. set. The lighties. I wanted the mm -hmm. lights that were in the mm -hmm. Henry Street setting. I yeah. did like that. I did like it. And I like the way they used the turntable to bring people on and off the stage. But other than that, I'm going to... That's that's the end of it. Okay. Talk. Costumes. Costumes. Mm -hmm. Costumes. So, ensemble... Love them. They have a lot of costumes. I think they have at least like the girls. Some of the girls have at least eight costume changes. In the and ensemble. you follow one of them on TikTok? I follow one of the ensemble girls on TikTok and like in the comments, someone was like, oh, how many costumes do you have? And someone was like, eight. And I'm yeah. like, that's a lot. And speaking of ensemble, we did see a couple of our old Hamilton uh, folks that mm -hmm. were in the show. So Afra, who we also saw in uh, Hades Town yeah. as well. Um, so it was really cool to see them move on to other shows. Um, and their costumes again, great. The men looked great. Yeah. Let's talk about Fanny and her costumes. Let's get this woman a tailor. Like, they were cute costumes, but like they, she needed, they needed to be. Needed yeah, to be. like some the, the the red one though. Don't rain on my parade. Oh. Yeah, that fit very. Well. Loved it. The opening one, very the funny. the cornet men when she had on the cute little like bustle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the little hat. Loved Everyone it. looks good in a bustle. Oh, <laughs> it. it didn't have to be like tighter, but just more fitting. Yeah, instead of like a sack. I mean, some of like them. A, no, let's talk. Let's be real. The the pantsuit oh. did not fit her well. If it was what tailored, did you, what did you say? She it was, was like Dorothy's Bornack as Fanny from Rice. Golden Girls as Fanny. Yeah. And, and, and I was like, it, all they had to do was it needs to be tailored for her. It yeah, tailored better. And you know, maybe it's a choice. But I also then, felt the the finale dress needed yes some work too. But then you made a good point, Sarah. You said you know the the red dress. She had just spent all this time with Nick, right? That's why she dressed she better. She dressed better. But then they just they were away from each other for a year, and then she goes to meet him mm -hmm. at the hotel for dinner, and that gold dress, which did fit her better, it did it, it fit still her well, wasn't yeah. great. And so yeah. it's like it was it a choice? I we don't know. But yeah. again, get the woman a tailor. She she needs a tailor. Yeah, that's like, how it I was feel. Just yeah. not yeah. For the most part, the designs were fine. I just feel like yeah. the fit was off. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get into some standout performances. Um, so first, got to talk about Jared Grimes as uh, Eddie Ryan. Yes. Woo! That he, uh, uh, he earned that nomination. Yes. Yes. Like, oh my yes. gosh. He commanded the audience. He was like totally interacting. Yep. Um, and his tap number was like, I my jaw was like. Uh, right, uh, and I like you know I sat up so I could yeah. get a better review of his feet, and, and the and, audience was loving uh, it. Yeah, he was just yeah his tap really, dancing skills really. <laughs> um, and then let's talk about Miss Jane Lynch as oh my god Rosie Bryce. I almost cried when she got on. I just like love Jane Lynch. Like you know me, I'm the Glee, I'm the resident Glee. So, so if you don't know Squad, <laughs> Allie is upset. Like she literally knows every episode. What do you think about Glee? Glee. Ask me anything. Is, uh, I will yeah, know it. The almanac so, of Glee. Uh, <laughs> it's just cool to see her like going back to Broadway. I would have loved to see her as Miss Hannigan when she was yeah, yeah, yeah. But she like the anytime like her and then the other two like neighborhood ladies mm -hmm. would like come on stage. They are so funny. Oh, my oh yeah, God, and yeah. their number too. You yeah. really like yeah. Their number was. They're really like good. it's like a little mini song. It's not even really like a song. Yeah, but it's just them like gambling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. very cute. Adorable. Okay, so um, now then we have to talk about Sir Ramin. <laughs> As Barbara would say, we were beclamped. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't. I I don't. I don't know. He was, I don't. Yeah, I mean, he not was, only he, does he have the chops and didn't know the man can dance. Yeah. Oh my God! I like he looks, and, and we got we got a shirt off scene. We got two shirt off scenes, which I was not expecting. Which I was not expecting no, at all. No, I know. And you were like, oh, actually, he came the out. audience. You even heard the audience go, oh, okay, oh. okay. He, like it kind of felt like he kind of walked on and like. 
Threw the robe oh, back for him. I don't know. Was that just me? Who knows what he got? I, know. I know. So, I thought so too. And then because he got a little bit of that when he came back, it, it was even more moved out of the way. We <laughs> oh were okay with God. it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. All wow. right. So let's talk a little bit about Miss Beanie Feldstein. So um, as Fanny Bryce. Um, so we like. We know there's been a bunch of like reviews out there, and you know we were excited to get to see it for ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so let's just talk a little bit about our feelings on her performance. Yeah, I mean, I think like people had already hyped it up, well, hyped it down for me, but I think people are just trying to compare it, like like people were saying about the reviews, like you're comparing it to a show that it's not, like you need to just review the show you're seeing. Mm -hmm. And I think she did like okay with the material that she's given as long as I'm not like comparing it to another show yeah. or production. Yeah. She was funny. And she was funny. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. She was funny. She was funny. She, uh, her eye, her, yeah. her, 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 her um, facial expressions. Very expressive. Her comedic timing. Yes. It, she was very funny. She was. Her uh, people to me is a, is a big song. And I, I people was not for her. The, they're, like her songs were good when they were good. But exactly. she just... So it wasn't all the songs. People that were didn't good. work, but Rain on My Parade did, and and there was a few moments that didn't. But when she when she really nailed it, she nailed it. She was acting, and like yeah, she, acting. she really was. Yeah. And I yeah. and I I got the goosebumps, I got the feels, and I was I was there for it. And her chemistry too with Ramin. You talked a lot I, about yes, that. Yes, yeah. I did. You didn't like their singing together. I <sighs> I liked their chemistry together. I didn't. Yeah. Li I just personally didn't think their like vocals blended very well until like one of the numbers in the second act but yeah. like he was very charming and she was very like believable like it was very cute and yeah. I just love what she brings mm -hmm. to that mm -hmm. role yeah I agree I agree we yeah. also talked about how um having a plus size woman play the role how it sort of adds another layer oh, to yeah, the story absolutely. right yeah yeah I mean, Cause, cause, so you've never, because you've never seen it before. So. I, I think I watched the movie once in 2010 because Glee would not stop because talking Glee. about it. But I don't remember anything or the plot. But so, like all like the little things in the script, they would like allude to her like being like ugly and not like other girls. And I like it's believable like because that's like you know the stigma Culture, right? plus size yeah, plus people. Size. Yeah. But now I'm like trying to think of like how that looks like with a like smaller woman. I don't think it would be at, like what well, I'm supposed to believe she's ugly when she's. Not. not like it yeah. just yeah. it makes it more believable and adds to the story for me even though it is about a real person and Beanie is not size. ugly she's right. super cute oh, yeah you know gosh, and, yeah. and yeah it's adorable so yeah so I, I, I was happy I, I really was I thought yeah. yeah I was happy I enjoyed the show you know I have my issues with just the, reviving the old ones and stuff but they did tweak the book a little bit Harvey Firestein got in there mm -hmm. Um, but you know, it's just it's to me. It's like the Music Man and Funny Girl and Hello Dolly. They all kind of fall in that same genre. Yeah, my Fair Lady d doing all of those. Yeah, things. you know, and so you know, that's just the question I'm always asking myself. But did I enjoy it? Yes, yes. I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, okay, let's talk about standout moments of the show. Um, so, um, Jen, you loved what was it? His love makes, makes me beautiful. beautiful. I, she was. I mean, really, that's when her character shined through, mm -hmm. and she did a great job. And the entire ensemble reacting to her was fantastic. I just, I enjoyed every moment of it. The tenor singing yeah. in it yeah. oh was amazing. And so yes. I just, and even his looks, you know, when he was like, "Okay, so we're keep, we're gonna keep doing this." I mean, just <laughs> the whole ensemble, the whole number, the set, everything about it, I loved. So we also great. have to talk, but we all had. An audible and physical reaction to this one when Ramin sort of did his like meerkat pop up onto the couch. Well, like, so she what the like <laughs> she falls off the couch and she, she nailed it. Uh -huh. she, did. she did. She rolled off of it, and then but he then falls just... off the couch and simply levitates back. It on almost the couch. felt like they like they had to jump underneath it to push him back. Yeah. I, 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 like yeah. his knees were not bent. He literally just got whoop like and popped I, back on. And I'm like, how the hell? Like we all did. Yeah, we did. Not we just had like the entire physical audience, like, audible response. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that was that was great. Another okay. standout. Yep. Other favorite standout moments. Henry Street. Yep. Yes. Loved it. The mm -hmm. whole entire ensemble. They they danced together. Again, the set for that one. The lights on it. I I loved it. I that just, to me I made it feel like a real musical. Yeah. I did. I did too. Mm -hmm. I felt yes. the same. I like, yes. I see the charm. Seeing, yes. Exactly. <laughs> that was that was it for sure. For sure. And then this one, of course. Uh, Temporary arrangement. Yes. Oh. yes. So they added that. You were the one that caught this. That they yeah. Added this so like they added a song because Ramin is Ramin, rightfully so, and 
it it felt a little out of place like remember when we saw swept away and there was that one song that kind of yes, didn't match the yes, vibe uh -huh. uh, but then it was just because there was like lots of lights and it was very mm -hmm. dark mm -hmm. but ramin killed it and like i didn't know he could do i didn't know a lot of things about ramin before the show <laughs> and <laughs> so we, if you don't know he, he's the phantom he was in he also, was jean valjean he was Jean Valjean. Ross, he so no, people yeah. who don't know go look him up you'll do yourself a favor he up. is yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. He did, when he started dancing, I was like, "Oh, oh the choreo, okay." Right. And yes. then the, you know, the men danced around him, but he danced the whole thing yes. too, and he did great. So, Give me yes. guys and dolls, yes. like yes. Very, you know. Yes. But yes. it was yes, very memorable. Very much, very much. <laughs> uh, okay, let's talk about our favorite songs of the show. I'm gonna for me, my favorite song was um, "His Love Makes Me Beautiful." Which I thought it would be yeah. right on my parade, but that the "Love Makes Me Beautiful" set the, for me yeah. set the tone. Mine's temporary arrangement. <laughs> Temporary arrangement, yeah, I think I do like, I did like Don't Rain On My Parade because I, for the years that I have been singing this song since I saw it in 2010 on Glee, did not know the context and like now having this context and I'm like, oh, oh. Yeah. I don't, okay, but I don't know, I, I love that song, uh -huh. but what I found interesting, I did like Funny Girl because I do like the song Funny Girl, mm -hmm. but they added a version of it for this production, which I was not expecting because like Ramin sings it I think in the first act or the second mm -hmm. act and I was like this oh. is weird this is because she's supposed to sing it mm -hmm. and it's the exact same lyrics but just like flip from a new point of view and I was like okay well maybe they just added it because he's Ramin but then at the end of the show she sings it again and I was like what it's very redundant I yeah. think they should have changed it more if they were going to do it twice but yeah, sure. I do like that song yeah okay but we have to talk about what happened at the end of the show so I went to go record the uh the the curtain call, which you'll see in a minute. And this one here, we're literally walking out and she's got tears in her eyes. No, and listen, go ahead, listen. go ahead. Okay, once again, back to Glee. Uh, Leah Michelle sings My Man in season two. So I, in, in like 2012, My Man, the Glee version was like the top played song in my iTunes. And so it's like toward the end of the show, like Beanie's singing her like finale-ish number. And I'm like, this can't be it. Like, there's still my man. And then I see Jen, like, slowly bringing out her phone so to get ready to film the curtain call. And I was like, there's still another song. You can relax. <laughs> and then the curtain comes down. And I was like, she literally had tears in her eyes. She's like, no, they didn't do my song. They didn't. They didn't I mean, granted, I mean, it's a big belty song. So I'm not sure if that is in Beanie's Will House. But I was just yeah. flabbergasted. I mean, I know that it is for the movie and it wasn't <coughs> in the original production. I still would have liked to see it. Yeah. But. Heard, heard. <laughs> okay, let's ask. Repeat, attend, or not? For uh, me, it's a no. Yeah, for me, it's a no. For me, it's a yes! <laughs> uh, I That's liked great. it. That's I great. did. I really did. Yeah, I, did I did like too. It. I did too, but it's not, it's definitely not, it's not a my repeat, attend. So. I mean, I would see, like, mostly to see Ramin again, and, like, Jane was good, and what's his name? Uh, Grimes, the, uh -huh. the, the, Oh, oh, yes. Uh, of course, let's get his <laughs> correct name here. It, Jared. Is Jared, Jared Grimes. Grimes. Yeah, Jared. Jared Grimes. Like, I would see it again, but I would also love to see Julie, um, her understudy, oh, yeah. understudy just yeah. to see it a different version. But Ramin has to be. I hope. Yeah. It's giveaway time! So for our giveaway, um, we are going to give away the playbill and the sticker. Hey, hey. <laughs> And in the description box below, you're going to put my favorite funny girl song is. And then Sarah, tell them the end up put this description. Make, make sure you read, read the it. rules below if you want to participate. Um, so before you put in your comment, make sure you qualify uh, by reading the description box below. Yeah. And then we're going to end with the curtain call here. So enjoy the curtain call. And we will see you on the other side. Curtain.
Guess what you should do? You should definitely like it. And you should subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you know every time that your broads drop content. Yay! We'll see you on the other side. Bye! Bye! Your fairy god broads. Hey!